ratings. See, I, I, but, I it's still on, but it's don't. on pay per view. It shouldn't be any rate. I mean, pay per views. Uh, uh, I that, believe that's it was a, rated mature or something on pay per view. Yeah, I mean, I I've never say. seen. You know, even back in the days where WCW uh, standards and practices didn't want to see blood on the show, uh, the mm -hmm. pay per view was always fine since it was a pay per view. You have to buy that right. show. You, uh, you're not. Uh, uh, it, yeah, it, it was a show you bought, so anything could happen. Blood was fine, so I can't, I can't see them uh, uh, not using blood as an excuse, um, even yeah. though we sure didn't see any. Nope, and they didn't, didn't mention it. Blood. He got busted, busted open either. They didn't say they didn't say one thing about it. Nope, it's uh, all hard way. You know, Rick bled hard way a couple of weeks ago. Um, but uh, I guess if it happens that way, there's not much they can do about it. But you 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 needed blood in that Triple H Randy Orton bout. Yep. And, and it's crazy that they that if for them to use the PG and and Vince came out and you know belittled TNA for you know being what they were just two weeks <laughs> ago. Yeah. I thought that was ridiculous. And plus the you know like we said on the show, Blade Dot. They're throwing people through windows. They're handcuffing people, you know, kissing other people's wives. None of that is TV, if you ask me. Yeah, so. I mean, it's just it's it's a pretty hypocritical stance to uh, to take. I thought it was funny though. I got a few chuckles out of it. <laughs> Vince is like that. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess whatever is good for him and <laughs> at the time. Yeah, and he's gone back and forth on that so many times, too. There have been two or three other periods um, where he said, uh, we use blood, we like it, and then he's uh, said, we don't use blood, we don't like it, how can Ted Turner's company use blood? What a bar He's told me, you know, what a barbaric organization that is. But when it benefited him a couple of years later, we had blood on Raw <laughs> just about every week. Right. Now, you obviously wrote you know, you wrote your book. How you 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 weren't you didn't go through WWE. How how were they their feelings towards your your book? Uh, you want to take a guess? <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they were positive over it. No, I don't think it was too positive. I haven't been on Vince's Christmas list in the last few years. His Christmas uh -oh. card list, no. But um, I will say this. I I think um, it, it was very fair and balanced account, I think uh, I think pro Vince probably respects the fact that it wasn't a hatchet job or, you know, I mean, he's known, I've known him for a, for a long time, and he's he's always, uh, he's told me on occasions that he respected what I wrote because um, while he may not like some of it, uh, it was always balanced and uh, it was, uh, you know, it, it looked at both sides of the story, so... Right. Um, and I'm still I'm still friends with a lot of the guys there, so I, I don't think there's too many hard feelings. But no, I'm I'm sure he didn't like the book. When when the, the WWE comes to Charleston, uh, do they let you in the door? You know, press pass you know, no. way or do well, you have to I mean, buy I'm, a ticket? Oh no, I'm still I, I'm you know I'm, I'm a journalist above everything else, so right. um, uh, you know it's it's all cool. I wonder, you know, he seems to, you know, I know business is business, but, but once he t takes things personal, like, you know, whatever grudge he has on Randy Savage and, you know, doesn't let him do this or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, he seems like, you know, if you get on his bad side. For know. the most part, there have been a couple of guys who it seems uh, those fences will never be mended, and Randy Savage is one. Um, Lex Luger is probably another guy you want seeing being inducted to, to the Hall of Fame or even invited to a WWE dumb? show. Um, you don't think Randy or, uh, Randy Savage will ever be? Um, I think there's such heat there that I cannot see it. Believe it or not, I cannot see it happen. I think, uh, um, of course, Vince would, would induct Bruno in a skinny minute if he could. It's Bruno, Bruno's the one who objects to WWE. But I don't think Vince is going to extend that same invitation to Randy. Um, just too much really bad blood there. Could happen. You never say never in wrestling, but 
doesn't look like it. I'll be interested to see how the uh, the Hall of Fame ceremony is handled next year when they're in Phoenix and uh, home of the Ultimate Warrior. Mm. That'll be an interesting uh, pick if it happens. Yeah, uh, there's definitely some some issues there. I mean, yeah. Can you imagine a know, speech? I, I, oh yeah. God! Can you imagine a speech the warrior makes? That'd <laughs> <laughs> be worth the price of admission. You're right. You I'm gonna, gonna have to get go my over translator the later on. Yeah, that definitely won't make the USA cut. <laughs> I'll have to get my translator for that one. <laughs> you understand what the heck he's talking about? Yeah, in real life or storyline fashion, you won't be able to understand a word of it. <laughs> That's uh, that's definitely true. <laughs> I don't know. Um, there's a, there's, a, um, I thought they were doing a Randy Savage DVD. Was that not? Was that just they know, are. rumors? No, they are. they are doing a Randy Savage DVD, but I don't think it. Uh, I don't think Randy Savage is going to be interviewed for it. What? <laughs> That's going to be a, Yeah, it's going to be a Savage DVD without uh, Randy Savage. Um, doing any recent commentary. They they'll probably use some footage. You know, it'll it'll right. mostly be about his matches, his greatest matches. Uh, you don't think it'll be, be like the Ultimate Warriors though, would you do? Um Wait. No right. uh, Warrior was a guy they uh, just left on really bad terms and has filed lawsuits against him and really there's been no uh there hasn't been a lot of interaction between the two parties. Not that there has been with Savage, but I think WWE still sees Savage as one of their great stars that really helped launch the, the new uh, the WWE expansion. And um, I don't think they'll do a hatchet job on him, but I think it's mainly just to sell DVDs. Here, here's Randy Savage's greatest matches. Here's Savage and Steamboat, WrestleMania three. Here's Steamboat talking about it probably use some old footage, some old interviews of Savage. I just don't think there's going to be a lot said, um, a lot of recent stuff said about him. I mean, what can they say? We uh, <laughs> we, we don't do business with him, but here's the DVD. Yeah, the awesome rap album. <laughs> yeah, yeah, here's his rap album. He's probably got rights on that, but uh, <laughs> I don't think anybody's too interested in securing those rights. <laughs> Probably not, <laughs> but that would make, I mean, that'd make a great interview. I mean, I mean, just the, yeah. the you know, the stories behind it and whatnot, but I think yeah. it's the same if they only use footage. Yeah, I think there's stuff we'll probably never know, real personal stuff that happened that will never be disclosed. Uh, needless to say, a lot of bad blood there. Well, I mean, if... Brett was able to bury the hatchet. Why yeah, because it, yeah, yeah, but it's almost different. I think I think it's very personal. I mean, it was a business thing with Brett. He was in, he didn't want to do the finish. Um, they they uh, um, they double crossed him. He hit fence, you know, back and forth, that kind of stuff. I think it's much more personal behind the scenes stuff with Savage. And uh, that would really be the only reason why they can't uh, they can't come to any kind of terms now or be on any sort of uh, amicable basis. Uh, I think it's got to be something a lot deeper than what happened uh, in front of TV cameras with Brett. Right. Now, now what's your money on uh, Brett uh, flying in to induct Shawn Michaels? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Probably about as good a chance as Randy Savage showing up on Raw next week. <laughs> Man, yeah. I mean, is is, is Sean? Uh, you know, I heard him make that you know statement that yeah. he wanted. You know, is he delusional? I mean, hey, let me he tell didn't you, even, he Sean. didn't even want him at at the Hall of Fame ceremony. <laughs> he didn't want him in the building. There's no way Sean can really want Bret Hart to show up at his induction ceremony, much less present him. I mean, he would be asking for trouble, you know. Uh, I don't yeah. think Brett would do it, but Brett would probably go on there and double across him this time. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, I just I just finished reading his book, and I mean, there there was nothing, you know, after like the first <laughs> entry about Shawn Michaels, there was nothing good to say about him. He questioned no. his manhood. Yeah. I mean, everything. 
Yeah, does Sean want somebody doing that actually inducting him into the Hall? I think I think Ric Flair would make a much better choice. 